China just dropped a new AI model and it might actually change everything. This thing has 2.4 trillion parameters. It can read images. It can understand videos. It can create audio. And it's beating almost every benchmark out there. This is Ernie 5.0 from Baidu, and the update is absolutely wild. Okay, so let me break this down for you. Baidu is China's biggest search engine company. Think of them like Google, but for China. And they just released Ernie 5.0, which is their newest AI model. And this thing is different from everything else out there right now. Most AI models, you know, like ChatGPT or Claude, they're really good at text. Then companies add image understanding later, they add audio later, they add video later. It's like putting puzzle pieces together that don't quite fit. But Ernie 5.0 is different. It was built from the ground up to understand everything at once, text, images, audio, video, all in one model. That's what omnimodal means. It's all native, it's all unified, no Frankenstein setup. And here's where it gets crazy. This model has 2.4 trillion parameters. That's massive for context. GPT-4 was rumored to be around 1.7 trillion. So Ernie 5.0 is bigger, but here's the genius part. Even though it has 2.4 trillion parameters, it only uses 3% of them at any given time. Let me explain why that matters. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency, whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers. So back to this 3% thing, Ernie 5.0 uses something called Mixture of Experts, or MOE for short. Instead of using all 2.4 trillion parameters for every task, it only activates the experts it needs. Think of it like having a team of 100 specialists, but you only call in the three people you need for each job. This means faster responses, lower costs, way less energy, and it scales like crazy. You get the power of a massive model without burning through compute like a rocket ship. Now let's talk about what this thing can actually do. Ernie 5.0 dominated over 40 international benchmarks. That's not just one or two tests. That's 40 different ways to measure how good an AI is and it crushed them. We're talking creative writing, reasoning tasks, following instructions, understanding images, understanding videos, understanding audio. It beat the previous Ernie versions and it's competing with the top models in the world right now. But benchmarks are boring. Let me show you what this actually means for real people. Let's say you're creating fitness content. You could tell Ernie 5.0 to create a weekly home workout plan with visuals showing each exercise or generate a full narrated fitness tutorial video for fat loss, or analyze a photo of your form during a squat and tell you how to fix it, or build a 30-day dumbbell workout challenge with daily motivation lines, all of that in one model. No switching between tools, no copy-pasting between apps. Now, if you wanna scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds of hours with AI automation, you need to check out my AI Profit Boardroom this is where I share the exact systems and automations I use in my seven-figure agency. We're talking real workflows, real automations, real results. And everything I've learned about using AI to actually grow a business is inside the AI Profit Boardroom. You'll see how to automate your marketing, how to use AI to get more leads, how to save time on tasks that used to take hours. This isn't theory, this isn't fluff. If you're serious about using AI to scale, the link is in the description. Go check it out right now. So back it, let's say you're into travel content, you could ask it to create a full travel vlog script plus a shot list for a trip to Bali or generate a video montage of the top 10 places to visit in Turkey or summarize safety tips for solo travelers in Europe or plan a five day trip to Japan with images, a budget and a full itinerary. That's the power of Omnimodal. It can work with text, images, video all at the same time. And if you're running a business, this gets even better document summaries, startup planning, social media automation, multimodal presentations, all in one place. But here's where it gets really interesting. Ernie 5.0 is built to be an agent. What does that mean? It means it can plan, it can reason, it can execute tasks in real time. It's not just answering questions, it's doing things. And because it's omnimodal, it can work with any type of content you throw at it. So how does Ernie 5.0 compare to everything else out there? First, it's way more efficient. That MOE setup with only 3% of parameters active at a time means it runs faster and cheaper than models with similar power. Second, it's truly unified. Most multimodal models are just different models duct taped together. Ernie 5.0 was designed from day one to be omnimodal. That makes it better at understanding how different types of content relate to each other. Third is built to scale. Baidu designed this for global deployment. And fourth, the benchmark results speak for themselves.
this is a frontier level model, is competing with the best in the world. Now let's talk about creative work. Ernie 5.0 excels at creative writing, long form content, storytelling, video scripts, research summaries, articles. If you're a content creator, this is huge. You can generate ideas, you can create outlines, you can write full scripts, you can even generate the visuals to go with them all in one workflow, no switching tools, no exporting and importing. Just tell it what you want and it handles the rest. And here's what really matters. This shows that China is not playing around with AI. They're going full speed. Baidu is pushing hard to compete globally. And Ernie 5.0 is proof that they're catching up fast. This isn't some weak model that's years behind. This is a legitimate frontier model that can go toe to toe with anything from the US or Europe. The AI race is global now and China is a serious player. Let me give you one more real world example. Let's say you wanna build an AI agent that helps you with your online business. You want it to analyze your website traffic, look at competitor sites, read through customer feedback emails, watch videos of user sessions, listen to customer support calls, and then give you a full report with action steps. Ernie 5.0 could do all of that because it understands text, images, audio, and video natively. You're not limited to one type of input. You can throw everything at it. So what does this mean for you? It means AI is getting more powerful. It's getting more efficient. It's getting more unified and it's happening fast. If you're not learning how to use these tools right now, you're going to be left behind. And I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm saying it because it's true. The people who figure out how to use AI right now are going to have a massive advantage over the next few years. Now, if you want to scale your business, get more customers and save hundreds of hours with AI automation, you need to check out my AI Profit Boardroom. This is where I share the exact systems and automations I use in my seven-figure agency. We're talking real workflows, real automations, real results. And everything I've learned about using AI to actually grow a business is inside the AI Profit Boardroom. You'll see how to automate your marketing, how to use AI to get more leads, how to save time on tasks that used to take hours. This isn't theory, this isn't fluff. If you're serious about using AI to scale, the link is in the description. Go check it out right now. Only 5.0 is a serious step forward and China is not slowing down. This update is wild and we're just getting started. The AI race is heating up. New models are dropping every month. And if you want to stay ahead, you need to keep learning. You need to keep testing. You need to keep building. So let me know in the comments. Are you excited about Ernie 5.0? Do you think China is going to overtake the US in AI? What do you want to see next? And if you got value from this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.